welcome to the flow everybody today i want to talk about being deceived by deceit and not necessarily you but the people around you you know the word of god that came to me was what's going on in this season you know god has set people apart as messengers as children of his and he set them apart and separated them and made them different and unique for such a time as this and what god is saying in this season and in this moment that the enemy is not attacking you because god says i've been protecting you i've been surrounding you and i've been keeping you and i've been supplying you in this season and because the enemy was unable to put his hands on you in the manner in which he wanted to, Job, I, the Lord, have protected you. So what Satan is doing is attacking those that are close to you, those that are next to you, because if he can't get to you, he's going to try to get to something that's around you. And I was like, God, where's the word on that? And he showed me in the Bible where where uh, Eve, Adam and Eve, Satan attacked Eve when God gave the message to Adam. Even though Adam relayed the message to Eve, Satan Satan was able to come upon her, but he wasn't able to attack Adam. And even in the Bible, when Judas was able to, 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 to trade and turn on Jesus, you know, he was one of his disciples. He walked close with him daily in his ministry walk. And this is not to say like everybody's out to get you, watch those close to you in your ministry. It's to say that God has supplied and protected you enough. He has supplied you and protected you enough that it will that it will stream down, that it will flow over, that it will rub off on those connected to you. And I'm saying that because even though Judas betrayed Jesus, you know, Jesus still pressed forward and finished on his walk, his ministry, his mission, and his purpose. Even though Adam and Eve's marriage was attacked in the beginning, they still walked on and begotten, you know? So I'm just saying this to you who those around you have betrayed you, have stopped you and prevented you, and you, you want to blame it on them, but it's really attacked from Satan because he couldn't touch you, so he had to use them to get to you. So forgiveness is what God asks us for, to do. You know, that's why God preaches love and forgiveness because sometimes people are attacked by Satan or used by Satan to do something to his children because he can't touch them. The hedge of protection is around you, Job. Even he had his Job's wife talking to him all kinds of crazy and his friends, you know, almost leaving him to the point where you're at the bitter end and you can't trust or choose nothing but God. But allow forgiveness to occur so you can get your double portion. That's what God is saying in this season you know even though things are attacking you and coming up against you and you see the people that are close to you your backbone you know the people that are supposed to be there to protect you and you see God doing it for you and you're confused as to why they're doing this it's because Satan is able to attack you from them but you know what God is saying in this season that the gifts that the pouring out pouring of protection everything that I'm supplying you that that as you see it grow in your life is going to flow over and rub off into theirs that means that every attack every snare every plan of the enemy it will be stopped as it goes towards the individual that satan is trying to use towards you you know god wants to bless his children but also he wants you to be a blessing to others what does that mean i didn't pour this into you i didn't bless you i didn't give you that word for you to just use it for you i gave it to you for those connected to you for those i'm sending to you you know god wants healing to occur in us he wants blessings to occur in us he wants overflow of joy of love of peace of a sound mind you know god wants to see us blessed he wants to see us pure. He wants to see us in our right mind. He wants to see us with the knowledge and insight and the wisdom, the love of him, the peace of him, the spirit of God. And in order to do that, you know, we have to surround ourselves in the, in the mind state, in the heart of, in the atmosphere of, in the lifestyle of God. And you might say, you know, how do I do that? I'm not preaching that we should always or all be 
holy and righteous but you know god sends us on this walk to learn holy and righteousness and i'm not preaching that as one that practices that daily i will say i'm close to it but i wouldn't say i'm there i do still sin just as you do i'm just saying that god wants to see us righteous and holy and as we go on that walk God pours righteousness and holy into us. And you might say, what is that? That's love. That's forgiveness. If you walk with unforgiveness in your heart, you have anger, you have malice, you have an evil, ill will intent. And that's why he says, leave your gift at the altar. You know, finish with your brother and figure it out. Because in that moment, in that time, that's where you will see God. That's where you will see the blessing and the manifestation of what God is trying to show you in your life. That's where you'll learn holiness and righteousness. That's where you'll see where one or two, uh, two or three are gathered in my name. That's where I am present. That's where you will see God. And some may say like, it's hard to forgive them, you know. It's hard to it's hard to continue on when they're continuously attacking me. It, it's it's hard to love them when they're continuously hating me. It's hard to give to them when they're continuously taking away. But God is saying in this season, not in my te I will pour into you a spirit similar to mine. It is the similar to mine. What God is saying, He's gonna pour a spirit in you similar to His. You will be rushed with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit of a manifestation of God. It will begin to pour into you, and you will see God in your situations, in your relationships, in your interactions, in your communications with others, and you'll see God flow in that. You'll see God move in that, and you'll say, How is it that I forgave this individual? How is it that I love this? individual they turned on me and still i'm allowing myself to be open to the mere fact of a relationship or a conversation or just being in my presence god is saying it is me it is i it is my spirit i've poured within you take it receive it it's yours God is saying he wants to see us blessed. He wants to see us in his likeness and his image. And if we continue walking in the satanic adversary, you know, evil spirit or way about us, we won't be able to see the manifestation of God that we're supposed to be living in in this time. You know, sometimes we have a mindset or a thinking of what things should be or how things should look or how we should interact with people. But God knows the ultimate goal goal and the plan in which he had for this earth, the plan in which he had for his people. He wanted us to walk in his likeness and his image. He wanted us to name a thing and it be a thing. He wanted us to walk in love. He wanted us to preach the gospel. He wanted us to speak his word. He wanted us to see his vision. He wanted us to bless others. He wanted us to walk in double favor. He wanted us to walk in faith. He wanted us to walk in strength. He wanted us to walk in faith and not by sight. But still we walk in hate But still we walk in sin He wanted us to see heaven on earth Much love, be blessed, God's love That's it for the flow today You guys have a great day